What up players, it's Warboss Tay up in this mud. Today we're showing you how to sling your bolters on the side of your Chaos Space Marines or your regular Marines. I'm using Chaos Space Marines. Alright, first, Model Master Liquid Cement. Um, super good. The best that i found when using only plastic pieces. Now if you're using metal or resin, then uh, super glue would be better for you. But since we're using all the plastic kits uh, from the Chaos Space Marine kit, we're putting the plastic cement on it. Now you see I'm just slathering it on the side there. What you could do is also shave down the side of the leg armor. They've got spikes there that they're just going to get covered up anyways. And it would make a flatter surface to put the uh, bolter up against. Um, uh, important thing to note when you're trying to side sling your bolters like this is that you push it up and you check it from all the different angles. You don't want it to be um, at a weird angle that you couldn't see because you were just looking at it from one direction. Ugh, one direction. Now. I'm letting the cement dry a little bit, and while that's happening, I'm going to get my Gale Force 9 Iron Chain out. Super good product, uh, c considering how much you get, it's really, really cheap uh, comparatively. I mean, you know, if Games Workshop ever releases it, it's probably going to cost, you know, an arm and a leg. But Gale Force 9, get it, it's great for your models, any models that, that use chain, like Evil Chaos Space Marines, um, like a lot of a lot of models use like heavy kind of this uh, chain, heavy duty looking chain. Alright, so I'm slinging it over the shoulder and what I'm doing is kind of pushing it between the backpack and the marine's body. And then I'm going to try to measure out how much I need. Now I'm uh, going to be wrapping it around the front end of the bolter. So what I'm doing here is trying to just gauge how much extra slack I'm going to use. And as you can see, it's uh, it's not a very scientific process. And uh, at some point, I realized I'm going to need some tweezers. So after deciding, first I, w I was thinking right here, like, oh, what if I just put some chain over at the top of the barrel? And then I decided, you know, you know what? I'm going to grab my tweezers and I'm going to wrap it around a couple of times and uh, glue it in place so that the the viewer can see it and it's going to look uh, much more, I guess, realistic. <clears throat> so here I am, just trying to wrap the chain around. Uh, if you're going to do this at home, you want to wrap your chain around once or twice and uh, as soon as you get it in place, you want to just go ahead and glue it. You don't even have to cut it off of the rest of the coil. So I'm using Gale Force 9 Hobby Glue just because uh, I know it's not real metal, this chain is, is just like another kind of plastic, but I found it works really great, it sticks to the models really quickly and uh, gets everything kind of forms a really good good solid bond almost immediately so I'm just squeezing all the glue in uh, in a couple different spots and then now I'm just waiting <coughs> and then I'm gonna take my hobby knife and uh, I'm gonna try and put it up in the uh, angle it needs to be to kind of simulate weight so um, you want it wrapped around. You don't want it to look like it's loose or slack because the bolters are heavy. You know, for for a human, they're 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 pretty weighty. They're supposed to be like really heavy, and have considerable weight. So now we're getting to the end, and I've decided that okay, what I'm gonna do in the back is just simply clip it using my cutters right there, and I'm gonna do a instead of wrapping it around the back like I do with the front, what I'm just going to do is kind of push it in underneath the bolter and glue it in place. Really simple, really easy, and um, you know, it's, it's, it's going to look good from, from far away. So there you have it. Now you can have a model with a pistol and close combat weapon, but also have their main weapon, which in this case for Chaos Space Marines is their bolter, somewhere on the model. WYSIWYG, what you see is what you get. <laughs> and it's, uh, it's, it's also gonna look good. So highly recommend getting the iron chain from Gale Force 9 and also having some different glues at your disposal. The Model Masters Plastic Cement is fantastic as well as the Hobby Glue from Gale Force 9. So there you have it. Thanks for watching everybody. Zoom out, do a little thumbs up. Laters!